Yo. Looking familiar this road man. Yeah? Looking familiar. Does this guy look familiar? Oh yes. Yeah? Yes. Papa Joe, Terry. <laughs> and this guy here? Yeah? Oh, Emily? I need to go again guys. <laughs> Ready to move. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode, Fishing Culture. We are here in Hibberdeen, guys. The talks are some nice size brush are coming out. So just making our way to the spot. Um, it's a Tuesday morning, very early in the morning, half past four. And full high was at four o'clock. So we're gonna be fishing the going out water. And let's hope we can get some action. are in Hibberdeen today and um, conditions are looking great water is looking absolutely lovely um, as I said I'm fishing with Malcolm and uh, Terry today and um, today guys I brought I carry two rods I normally carry one rod but um, the plan is to target either the cob or a brusher so bait of choice for today that's my early morning bait 5-0 mustard hook octopus leg two small beads okay and fawn spudimid sinker two-way power swivel Guys, uh, it's unfortunate that I forgot to carry my chest mount and um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult uh, capture in the moment, especially when I got that fish on, if I get that fish on, but um, yeah, I'm going to try my best uh, to try and get as much footage as possible. Hopefully we do get on to some good fish. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how am I going to video this fight when um, I don't have my chest mount man but in any case guys stay tuned I'll try my best to get that footage for you tight lines
Belly on, belly on! Ha <laughs> ha here we go! It's a tassel, boy. That's a lovely tassel. How's that? Oh no, that's a, a lemon fish now. Ooh, that's fish. a lemon fish, yeah. Lovely fish, boy. Well done. Pulling, pulling, I was a big fish, man. Nice one, man. Lovely fish, boy. There you have it, guys. First fish on the board. Now come with a lovely lemon fish uh, that was caught on crab bait. Nice to see some action. As you can see, I've got my uh, big rod out. I've got a hockey lake there, and I'm busy rigging up the other rod. What's up, gents? Very difficult to give you guys some footage, but all I can tell you is that the fish is <laughs> it's packed up here in Hibberdin. Um, you saw Mel uh, got a nice, decent uh, lemon fish in the morning, well, earlier on. And uh, guys, I've been getting passed by some really good fish, nice big fish. Um, it's difficult. It's it's a bummer that I never carried my uh, my chest mount. But um, I'm just going to place this on my cooler box and I'm going to be fishing straight ahead and let's see what happens. Stay tuned.
This was definitely was, was not the fish that was busting me early on. But check the size of this builder putt. How's that guys? Let's keep it going. It's been fairly quiet, uh, spring tide and uh, water's gone right out and things are very quiet guys. So what I decided to do was uh, try and get some muscle man crab. Uh, Terry did lose a decent fish on the rocks when the tide was up and uh, could have been a brusher. Well, we suspect it could have been a brusher and uh, yeah, it straightened his hook. Uh. <laughs> so. I'm just going to uh, take you through the trace that I'm using and how I pin this muscle man. Ideally guys, you would require a bait uh, needle to do this, but uh, I never carried mine. So I'll show you in an alternate way. All right, so the trace, Russia trace, that's my sinker line, 20 pound maxima, right? And I've got a 60 pound uh, hook snoot with a 6-0 Daiichi. Okay, and guys, that's the muscle man. Nice and fresh, we just got him now. Um, so guys, very quickly, let me show y'all. What I did was I took off the, the top leg over there, you break that off, and then you break off the leg on the opposite end at the bottom so you got that top broken off and the bottom leg all right so guys you basically need to take your hook through first leg just like that and you'll come out in the center of the body These, car these crabs are very hardy so you gotta use some force get that through and this is one of the reasons why I say you need a bait needle for this right so once you get it through the first leg you're in the center of the body right all I do now is you send it back through the body and it has to come out from the, the leg that you have broken there. Right, send it through. Back there. Okay. Alright, so that's... It's basically how your hook will be sitting on your crab, right? And then all you have to do now is just cotton up on that side and cotton up the legs here. Let me just do that. Guys, this is the bait that you need to use targeting your muscle crackers. They love this bait. All right, also I'm not using the correct uh, cotton Ideally, you would want the, um, the heavy cotton. I never carried that. I'm just using the light. And so you're just going to cotton up on the hook shank. Right. And the legs. You cotton that on your line. There you go guys, muscle man, as natural as you can get it out. Nothing else that you need to take off, the brush is going to take this, probably come smash it this way and hopefully get home.
Apa? Hundred percent. Sure, guys. Still there? Huh? Go to the stumpy or a brush at it. Do they? Huh? It's rubbing on the rock. Still there, still there. That's the thing now, we don't know what side of the rock it's stuck, whether it's going front. Pick it out. Is that boy? Oh boy, it came out. Wow! Oh my word. That was a pressure or something. Oh. How's it guys? That brings us to the end of that um, trip to Hibadin. Quite an enjoyable one and uh, not a very um, <laughs> enjoyable ending. But, uh, well, it's always good to uh, to get that pull from that uh, target species, uh, which is was definitely the brusher. Um, guys, um, I had that rod on a rod stand and um, with a muscle man crab out there. And, yeah, it, uh, it definitely took line. Um, I was late to strike it and um, it wrapped around the rock, unfortunately. Um, I did give it time though, gave it like 10 to 15 minutes and uh, unfortunately it couldn't break off. Um, yeah, and then eventually I had to just try and put some pressure on and um, unfortunately it came off. But uh, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching and... Um, I would like to share some videos with you all, um, which um, has been taken by Mel. Uh, he's been quite lucky recently getting some really good fish. Uh, it's unfortunate that Mel never had a cameraman um, whilst fishing alone, but um, he did manage to do a few, few videos of uh, the catch itself. And um, yeah, beautiful catches and well done to you, Mel. Uh, enjoy guys and uh, once again thank you so much for the support good morning guys uh, welcome here today I'm fishing here in, in Kelso with my dad and a couple of his friends uh, they came here for to fish on the rocks on my left hand side they said some nice copper brim and some nice uh, other rock fish are coming out here so I said no I my dad phoned me yesterday afternoon, he said, you know, I must just join them. And uh, I said, no, why not? We have been here from 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, uh, it's been a fruitful day so far. I've been using some crab bait. And believe me or not, I'm not using my usual rod today. I'm using my uh, silly, some, and a reel. It's an Okoma. Uh, Zorus and it's not my usual rod but uh, it works for the rocks and uh, so far I've caught a, a fish a salmon uh, not a very big one but maybe it's about two and a half three kilos you can see guys it's a good fish they gave me a good fight and uh, thanks. Uh, Clint is not fishing with me today. Clint is going to work. Uh, I said, you know what? Let me make some content uh, while I'm here with my dad and his friends. So, guys, fishing culture. So please subscribe, share, and like. We will really appreciate it if you do so. Next time. Until next time, guys. Thank you. Guys, uh, 
This is my first brush here for the season. Uh, I caught it on the black crab. Uh, it was a nice fight and a uh, good catch today. In fact, this is my first brush here. My first brush here. Never caught a brush here before. And this is all the places where I'm catching all my stumpies and all the copper brims. And this is my first brush here in my life. Never caught a brush here before. It was a nice fight, guys. Thank you. Good morning guys, uh, it's Malcolm here today, uh, I'm fishing here off Suzella, the Suzella Mill in the back, they call it Mill Bay, uh, guys uh, I'm fishing here right in front of the mill on the rocks, as you can see the water is looking great, and uh, I, just put my, I just put my first crab bait out, and I caught a nice brush here, maybe two and a half, three kilos, and uh, I'm really happy for the first throw in this morning on these rocks. First time I'm fishing here on these rocks and I caught this fish. Guys, you will see the fish now. There's guys. Nice brusher. Nice size brusher, guys. Lovely fight. For the first throw in the morning. Guys. A good catch, a second one for this year. Bye, lovely. Thank you. Bye. -bye.